Yeah, today is 9th uh, March, about 31 days to the Lagos State Marathon. And I just finished my run today. Uh, it's about 17 kilometers, but well, extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, I was supposed to run on Sunday, but I pushed it to today, Tuesday. And um, I must confess, I'm still way behind in my training schedule. Uh, I'm not going fast enough. And uh, I had to make a few stops on the way, but at the end of the day, like I said, uh, what's important is you keep going and don't stop. Uh, today was was a good race, 7.2, steady pace. But again, a few stops on the way, which in a training run is not too bad. But by now, I think with, with about a month left, so the race, my my training uh, capacity should a bit higher. On Sunday, I had to do. The, I went to the gym, did a few runs. It was a bit difficult as well. So I'm gonna do an evaluation and see where I am now and uh, where I'm supposed to be. But what is important is we keep going and we don't stop. And um, yeah, just keep pushing on and uh, hope that I'm going to be very ready for the race in about 30 days from now. Thank you. I'll speak to you guys later. Cheers. Yeah, 7th of March, uh, Sunday, I was supposed to train. Uh, normally do a long run, but I must confess, it, was not, it wasn't, um, I was a bit tired. I played football on the Saturday before, so I had to rest. I was, a bit, I, was a bit, I was really, really down. So I had to push my run on the, to, to on the Tuesday. Even on the run on Tuesday, uh, it wasn't uh, on the fantastic. Well, it wasn't a fantastic run. It wasn't. It was not easy. Yeah, this thing happens in training. Really, I won't, I won't lie. When you are training for a race, there are days you just have to just relax and take it easy. Uh, honestly, sometimes I actually just sit down on the pavement and just take about three, four minutes or five minutes to just catch my breath before standing up to get back on the road to run. Mm. I think the problem I'm having actually is more of recovery. And um, in a way, it seems like i probably doing too much as in other type of sports, football, squash. It's kind of eating into my running time because you know, after a long run, you need to take some time out to rest. It's critical, recovery is critical for your muscles to recover. So that's becoming a big challenge for me. But I'm gonna have to make that decision quickly because I'm, I'm getting a bit tense about my finishing, expected finishing time for the race. So I'm thinking about it seriously to probably see how it goes. So tenth, uh, I had to do some strength training. So what I do is I try and do strength training two times a week, depending on on flexibility and time, uh, and also work, so I can like balance it out. So more often than not, I try and do the strength training basically to give some strength to the quads, the the knees, because running is not easy. I won't like so, but. Yeah, I did that on, on the tent and um, did some sessions on the bike as well. Did some running, some um, cycling, just to keep that mobility going. And um, yeah, it was, was pretty good. Then of course, Thursday again, football, like I said, which is something I'm, I'm seriously looking at. I do five-a-side football on Thursdays. It's very intense, very, very, very intense. It's a contact sport, so, you know, it's, it's something that I'm looking at maybe I might have to dial it back a bit. Yeah, the problem with this kind of, uh, when you are preparing for a race or, you know, for a marathon is, there's a training block you need to have. There's a training program you need to follow. You need to run, you know, considerably good mileage in, 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 in the week. 
and I'm just not hitting that mileage right now. I you know the funny thing is I had the same same problem or let me say, you know, this tense situation when I was preparing for the Egypt one, that's in Luxor in January. But some but I think the weather was fine and I had very good running shoes. So I actually did far more far better than the expectation. I think another prob another issue or well, not an issue, I think another good thing was the mental strength. Because when you are running Mentally, you are keyed in to try and finish the race in good time, so that also helped. But I don't know how far that can take me right now because Lagos is a whole new, it's a different kind of. I've run this race twice and I know how difficult it is. Humidity is high, as, as high as 30 degrees you know, on a given day, so I don't know how the weather is going to be like on April, so we need to look at that. I think in I think another thing I need to look at my typical running week, or let me just say my exercises in the week. Uh, it's like I'm doing a lot because I do I do my runs, which has been adversely affected because I need to play I play squash three times a week, I play football twice a week, I go to the gym in the evenings or sometimes in the mornings, and I do strength training as well in the gym, and I do treadmill runs in the gym. So combination of a lot of stuff and of course in between you need to rest you need to recover and get ready for the next exercise routine so it's becoming uh, too much to juggle so and then you know something that like I said before I need to look at but as we're getting closer to the race I think it's a question of dialing back on one or two things especially the 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 football part is because football is more of a contact sport and that's something I need to I need to make a decision in, on next week. Yeah, next week I need to make a decision on that and so I can be fully ready and injury free again for the race. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. It will mean a lot to me and um, thank you very much for watching.